Hello, my name is Lee Peace, and I'm a TSC in the Architectural Scanning Department of TPM. Today, I would like to show off something that has a lot of potential. For a little background information, as a company, for large-scale projects, such as buildings and large pieces of equipment, we will typically use a Leica Terrestrial Scanner, or SLAM Scanner, primarily the RTC360 and the blk to go with every project that we complete, we provide our clients with a point cloud in the LGS format. It is a proprietary format used by Leica scanners, but it offers some amazing advantages compared to other formats, such as the ability to bring it into CloudWorks software package. The CloudWorks plugin is available for SolidWorks, Navisworks, Revit, and more. So let's begin by importing a point cloud into SOLIDWORKS. So anyone who has tried this before can tell you that SOLIDWORKS doesn't really work that well with large point clouds. It will either cause it to bog down or just crash. Since we're using the CloudWorks plugin to project the point cloud into SOLIDWORKS, this doesn't happen. And we are able to move around this massive 70 gigabyte point cloud pretty smoothly. Now we could work with it like this, but I think it's a lot easier to work with a smaller section of the point cloud. So we are going to draw out what's called a limit box around the part that we want to model. You can have multiple limit boxes open at the same time. This allows you to easily change from one location to another. You can also make the selected area bigger or smaller, and they can easily slide in any direction that you want to cover the area that you need. Let's get back to the area that we want to model. We're gonna start with this small transmitter box. To make the point cloud work well with SOLIDWORKS, we're going to project points onto the point cloud. These points allow interaction between the point cloud and SOLIDWORKS. The projected points allow us to draw out planes or other reference geometry. And using the points that we've placed, we're also able to sketch out features. You can choose to extrude to the projected point, or you can choose to visually match it with the point cloud, as I have done here. Next, I would like to show off the pipe modeling tool. I'm going to select the pipe modeling tool from the toolbar and open the pipe modeling window. Using this tool, you can lay individual lengths of pipe or through the pipe modeler, select pipes and have it automatically create connections and branches. When you click on a pipe, it's finding the center point of the pipe using the available point cloud geometry provided. Even if the entire pipe is not captured, there is usually enough data for it to complete its calculations. Using these tools, you can have a large area of pipes 
modeled in just a few minutes. At any time you wish, you can select the point cloud and turn it off and on, viewing just the model that you've made. Next, we're going to show off a few other useful features of CloudWorks. So if you notice, when we imported this point cloud, it was sideways. This is very easily fixable by using a few different tools. First, we're going to use the slice tool and slice the roof off, getting a good look at just the floor and the walls. Next, we're going to click on the floor and then the wall. That's all there is to it to create a new UCS. CloudWorks has the wonderful ability to display the four-point cloud of an area on one screen and the model that you're working on on another. That way you can better see what it is that you're working on. This has just been a brief overview of some of the wonderful features of CloudWorks on SolidWorks. Thank you for joining me today to learn about CloudWorks for SolidWorks. If you have any questions about what you've seen or any scanning related questions, please let us know. Mm -hmm.